Here are nine different ways of using the test connection commandlet in PowerShell to check the connectivity of a remote computer or network device. Type PowerShell in the search bar and run PowerShell as an administrator to check the connectivity of a remote computer or network device. Example, google.com, you can use test connection, which sends internet control message protocol echo request, commonly known as ping request, to a target to test network connectivity. Computer name specifies the target to test the connection. In this case, google.com is the target domain. The command sends ping request to google.com to check if it is reachable over the network. This command sends four ping requests by default to google.com and displays the results, indicating if the host is reachable. The output typically includes information such as the latency and the number of bytes sent for each ping attempt. If the replies are received, it indicates that the target is reachable and the network connection is functioning correctly. This command is valuable for administrators, users, or anyone looking to ensure a network path to a host is functioning properly. You can specify the number of ping requests using the count parameter. Count 10 parameter sets the number of ping requests to be sent. By default, the test connection sends 4 requests, but here it is overridden to send 10 pings to google.com. With more requests, you can calculate a more accurate average response time, which provides a clearer picture of the network's speed and performance. To test multiple computers, provide a list of computer names. This parameter specifies the list of targets we are testing. Count2 parameter sends the number of ping requests to be sent for each target. Here it specifies that two ping requests will be sent to each of the three hosts. This command is a powerful and efficient tool for assessing connectivity to multiple targets in a single operation. If you only need a true or false result for whether the connection is successful, use the quiet parameter. Quiet parameter alters the output of the command. When quiet is specified, the command returns only a boolean value. True if the target is reachable or false if the target is not reachable. This command is particularly useful for quick connectivity checks in automated scripts or when a simple success or failure result is all that's needed. You can store the output in a variable for further processing. This part of the command assigns the output of the test connection commandlet to the variable result. This allows you to use the results later in your script or command session. After running the command, you could further analyze the results with additional PowerShell commands. For example, to view the stored results, you could simply type result. This would display the output of the five ping requests, showing whether they were successful and the response times for each. You can display more detailed information about the ping results by selecting specific properties. The pipeline operator takes the output of the command on the left, which is test connection, and passes it as input to the command on the right, which is select object. This is a powerful feature in PowerShell that allows you to chain commands together. This command lets you to filter the output and select specific properties from the results of test connection. Address property represents the IP address of the target, that was ping, which is google.com. Response time indicates the time it takes for the target to respond to each ping request, providing insights into latency. Status code represents the status of each ping attempt, typically indicating whether the ping was successful. The output will typically have the address column, which shows the IP address of Google.com. The response time column, which will show the time it took for each ping response. A status code column, which will indicate that all ping requests were successful. Overall, this command is a powerful way to assess network connectivity while focusing on the most relevant information. You can filter the results based on specific criteria. For example, to only show successful connections, where object status code EQ0 command let filters the results of the test connection command.
the dollar represents the current object in the pipeline in this case each ping response the status code is a property of each response that indicates the status of the ping attempt a status code of zero typically means the ping was successful eq0 checks if the status code is equal to zero filtering out any unsuccessful ping attempts when you run this command, you can expect the output to show only the successful ping attempts along with their corresponding response times and addresses. This approach helps diagnose network issues by isolating successful responses from the overall ping results, making it simpler to identify if a particular connection is failing. If you have multiple network adapters and want to specify which one to use for the ping, you can use the source parameter. Source shows the IP address from which the ping request was sent. Replace the figures with the IP address of the desired network adapter. By using the source parameter, you can test how the target responds to requests coming from a specific IP address. This can be particularly useful in environments with multiple network interfaces or when testing specific routing configurations. You can set up a scheduled tag to run text connection at regular intervals to monitor network availability. Create the scheduled task action. Type action. New scheduled task action. Create a scheduled task action which defines what the task will execute. Execute PowerShell EXE specifies that the task will run PowerShell as the executable. Argument test connection computer name google.com count one passes the argument to powershell which in this case runs the test connection commandlet to ping google.com once the result is that when this action runs, PowerShell will execute the test connection command to test network connectivity to google.com. Create the scheduled task trigger. Type trigger. New scheduled task trigger creates a trigger for the scheduled task, which specifies when the task should run. At startup, sets the trigger to execute the task at system startup. This means the task will run each time the computer is started or rebooted. Register the scheduled task. Type register scheduled task, which creates the scheduled task in the Windows task scheduler. Action action specifies the action that will be executed by the scheduled task, which was defined in the previous step. Trigger trigger specifies the trigger that determines when the scheduled task will run. Task name ping Google sets the name of the scheduled task to ping Google for easy identification. These commands set up a shadow task named ping google that runs the powershell command to ping google.com once every time the computer starts. This can be helpful for checking network connectivity automatically at system startup or for basic monitoring purposes.